Semen is of an extraordinary level of potency. It is one of the most potent things if you know how to use it. Can it be transformed into a different level of function? Absolutely. This can be scientifically established. How important is your balance semen for physical, mental and spiritual well-being? Can wasting our semen damage us spiritually? Well, you know, uh, semen is the basis of your physical existence. Whether you're a man or a woman, you have come into existence because that, that is 50% of the ingredient. Yes? Well, we have skin, we have epithelial cells, we have hair. We have many other aspects of body, you know, heart, liver, kidney, so many things. All these cells are of a certain potency in their own way. But semen is of an extraordinary level of potency. It can create a whole new life. Well, today you can take an epithelial cell and do a lot of things in a laboratory and maybe we can clone you, all right? So the potential is here also, but it is not in the same dynamics as it is in the a cell, which is which you are referring to as semen. So, in the yogic culture, this is called as virya. Virya also refers to what you call as vajra, which means stability or diamond, which is the hardest thing. So, in the human body, virya is considered to be like vajra. That means it is one of the most potent things if you know how to use it. Well, how to use it means you can use it to produce a child. That's one thing. Well, if you are, uh, this question is coming because uh, you are using it to spill it on the JNU uh, bed sheets. Okay. <laughs> if that's how you are using it, well, that's your compulsion. You are doing whatever you are doing. And um, this is not something to be judged morally. That's not the point. It's a question of what is the level of compulsion that one has. But anything in this body, can it be transformed into a different level of function? Absolutely. Not just semen. Just everything in this body can be transformed. Say, suppose I give you all soup-making ingredients, same soup-making ingredients to every one of you. Do you believe all of you will produce the same soup? No. You will produce 500 varieties of soups. Those same ingredients. That's all that's happened with us right now. All of us are fundamentally same ingredients. But see how different each one of us are. Different soups. Well, if I give you soup-making ingredients, either you can make a great soup or a lousy soup. Depends what kind of skills you have, isn't it? So this goes for everything, not just for semen. Every dimension of your body and your mind, you can transform into, into something tremendous, or you can make it mediocre, or you can make it a serious problem. Every aspect of your life, that goes for this aspect of life also. Saying, uh, people are making it literal translations, but if you want to produce a certain, let's say, epithelial cells, how much energy the body spends on it? And if you want to produce a cell which you call a semen, how much energy the body spends is very different. This can be scientifically established. So, when you're investing so much energy in that, obviously it has a potency if you know how to explore. But are you competent to explore? Are you capable of exploring? Do you have the necessary sadhana and guidance to do that? That's a big question mark.